Okay. Cooking with Susie. What the? Okay, there's dust, apparently, that came off of me. Hi, everybody. It's cooking with Susie. <laughs> and it's not really cooking, but we're uh, trying this for the first time. Um, so tonight, we're, I am going to make crunchy salad for my family. That's what we call it, crunchy salad. My kids love it. Full of protein. Got some vegetables. Um, and it's super, super tasty. So um, I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you everything that you need for this. Big bowl. Smaller bowl. Sorry, kids in the background are Zooming with their youth group leader at church. Hold on. I don't like to cook with my hair hanging in my face. And I can imagine you probably wouldn't want that. Hold on. So. Hair up. Okay, I'm trying to do this fast. I don't have my, okay, hold on. Had to have my apron on. And, it's a video, could go viral. Okay, those are my kids in the background, sorry. Oh my God, not right now. I know, I'm teaching people how to make something. Okay, so, uh, big spoon, balsamic vinegar extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. John's gonna kill me for this. Frozen corn. If you, if you don't have corn, you can use frozen peas, but I have corn, so I'm not gonna do that. Edamame, already shelled. Another thing that John's gonna kill me, but you gotta understand, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get photobombed right now from my daughter. Uh, Joey gets hangry. And when Joey's hangry, <laughs> that's Elena. When Joey gets hangry, um, Mama's not happy. So if he's not hangry, then I will get fresh green, red, and yellow bell peppers. One of each. Or orange, red, and yellow because it's really colorful. But I got these already cooked. I mean, already chopped up from Bel Air. And I already got red onions already chopped up from Bel Air. So, um, and a big, huge can of black beans. I don't care what kind. I like these ones because it's the perfect size. And last but not least, a container to put them in. This is one of the, I don't know, like you can see it's a big jar, mason jar, bigger than the, than the ones you can drink out of. Um, and everything I do, no, no, put that back. Put that back. I gotta back those up. Stop. Put that um, anyway, so it will all fit in here in the refrigerator, or you can do it in little mason jars so you can grab and go. These are really, really, really good lunches. Super filling, super tasty. Okay, first, you got to cook these. So I'm going to do that. All right, so if you haven't figured out, oh my God, who farted? Did you fart? No. Who? Yes. Julie Couchy, good Lord. <laughs> Get out of my kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Um, if you haven't figured out how to microwave stuff, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Mom, you can't put that in the microwave. I know, I know. <laughs> Glass ball. Not metal. Okay, so while stuff is cooking, you can open your beans. I strain them and rinse them because I think that mucusy stuff is nasty. So I'm going to do that really quick. Okay, beans are in a colander. So um, I would say for this amount, which is like that will fill one jar, I would do like a quarter of a red onion um, or less. You don't need a whole lot. You just need enough for flavor. Um, maybe, how about a third? Let's do a third. This is cooking with me. I don't follow recipes. And I freak out. Ask John. I freak out if I have to follow a recipe. What? You're just, you're my eye candy for my video. Okay, and then um, I would say probably, 
one of each of the bell peppers, so three total or a whole thing from Bel Air. <laughs> okay. um, beans are green. Make sure that you pour it over the sink and not over the floor, which I have done before. Okay, then. Here we go. Edamame is done. I'm gonna dump it in the drainer because it's got water in the bowl. So I'm gonna do that. If you guys don't know about this stuff, I know I'm my footprint's huge. I use plastic, sorry. Um, but these are great because I reuse them for whatever I'm making and then I toss it. I don't have to use more than one. Yes, I did. So right now I've got all my ingredients so far in the bowl. And I'm gonna drain the edamame. edamame is draining. I need to be shorter for this. And now I'm going to cut open the bag of corn. If John was doing this, he'd be shucking fresh corn and you would get your crunchy salad in three days. Oh my God. I said something very important. And then we will put this in the microwave. Bowl is hot. This is grab and go or whatever the heck it's called. What are you doing? Stop! I'm really sad that I don't have it memorized or my glasses on. How long I have to <laughs> cook the corn in the microwave for. Okay, got that. Okay, five minutes. Five minutes. Happy? Good Lord, child! <laughs> Toss that for me, please. Toss that for me, please. <sighs> okay, so I do balsamic vinegar and olive oil to taste. Um, oh, I smashed the lid. No, 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 it doesn't get thrown away. I smashed it. So, oh, you probably wanna see. I just, I just go for it. They love balsamic vinegar. And, okay. Probably why I'm about 500 pounds overweight. Well, not as much olive oil, just like Six. that. Mom, Mom yeah. can I do just like that. I don't know how much no, that is. Figure it. Mom's busy. What happened? I'm busy. doing a cooking tutorial. I am cooking a gourmet meal for you guys right now, and I'm showing everybody how I do it. Oh my God! Not like you guys needed to see, but I poured the edamame in here. I meant to turn on the camera and I forgot. Okay, so we're just waiting for the corn. And then when the corn's all done, we're gonna mix it all together. Yay! Um, I came home the other day, so. <clears throat> Stand up straight. I'm trying to like be like Look where the camera up. is. Okay. Shush, I know, Bigfoot, I know. Joey, um, we are uh, contained in our home. We're following the shelter in place order and except that I have a job that I have to go to. And um, when I came home the other day, my daughter who got laid off from her bartending job is home with my children, homeschooling them and doing a fantastic job, by the way. No, you know what? Okay, my daughter, the alcoholic. Mother! Anyway, um, <laughs> and uh, I came home and she was dyeing Joey's hair purple and blue. Joey, Joey come here. Um, which he earned. He did. He earned it. So did Michael. Michael didn't want that color though. So who is this two? Now everybody can tell my twins apart. This is Joey. Who is this two? This is just a video. I'm doing a cooking tutorial. And then Michael is on the computer and he'll probably not come in here. Joey is a Pam. Can you? Okay, that's out of the way. Thank you. Bye. And then um, I just saw that there was a whole bunch of dye left in the bowl and I just couldn't let it go to waste. So I plopped down in the chair and she did a fantastic job. <laughs> However, I um, failed to really grasp the fact that, see the blue, the neon blue roots, that my roots have grown out an inch because I go to the salon right now during the um, pandemic 
And um, so now I have a neon blue stripe on my part up here, which you can't really see. I've got it pulled over it, but, but it's pretty cool. There's like blue and purple and I like it. So anyway, um, all right, corn's almost done. Okay, I'm back. So I like using a slotted spoon because when I do the corn, there's a little bit of water in there because you have to cook the corn with water and I don't want to. You're picking up every single one of those Cheerios. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Elena. Um, yeah, the Cheerios are all over the floor. So anyway, there's always water left in here and I don't want the water in my crunchy salad. So I just use a slotted spoon to get it all out of there. She has the same hair as me. Yes, I do. She's the best. Elena, okay, A. Probably no more Mike's hard liquor. Mom, that was the first one I had. You chugged it, child. Yeah. Oh my God. You might be taking her to her first AA meeting. <laughs> um, no, because I have a camera prop. You can do it. All right, so the corn is now in the bowl. Everything's in here. And all you gotta do is the only things that are not in here is the salt and pepper, which we will do. I do it to taste. I don't have measurement. I do no measurements for this at all. I just throw in some pepper and salt. And you don't need a whole lot of salt because of the balsamic vinegar, um, especially when this has a chance to kind of marinate overnight. Um, everything in here picks up the balsamic vinegar, gives it a lovely flavor, and voila! <laughs> I, okay. um, <laughs> crunchy salad um, is really good. Here, let me show you. I, I also, when I eat it. I put it in a bowl and I slice an avocado in half. Okay, you have to see the mess that we just made. I gotta take my thumb off the camera. So, okay, there's all the crunchy salad I just spilled. There's all the Cheerios and, I oh, you I picked, picked it up. up. Okay, so, welcome to my home. Yeah. All right, so, um, I like to put, so then I'm, I, scoop this and I like to use a big spoon because then I don't have to do as many scoops and I just scoop it into my big jar. Um, but I like to pour this into a bowl and I slice up half of an avocado. I gotta sneeze. That pepper went right up my nose. Bless and, um, help? and the slotted spoon also helps because once you put all the ingredients in here, it um, gets a little bit juicy, especially with the balsamic vinegar and the olive oil. And <laughs> um, anyway, so I put a half of an avocado, I slice it up and I put it on top and that's typically my dinner or my lunch, depending on what it is. So I have enough left in there and on the counter for dinner. Look at that. Just give the stuff from the counter to the boys. Yeah, they won't know. And that is crunchy salad. Yay! Do not drink and cook, everybody. Oh, that was bad. Okay, hold on. 